If you grew up in Nigeria, you'll agree that cabin biscuits are pretty iconic. Although they're bland and uninteresting to eat, there is no doubt something nostalgic about them. Let's make a baked cheesecake using the biscuit in the base. Start by crushing the biscuits in a food processor or in a bag as I'm doing, then add to some melted vegan butter. For some much needed sweetness, you can add a little maple syrup. Mix everything until it all comes together in a crumbly mixture that holds its shape when compressed. Essentially, you want to make sure that all the biscuit crumbs are coated with the butter. As always, I will leave the ingredients in the description below for your reference. Add this to the bottom of a 4-inch springform pan that's been lined with some baking paper. This size cheesecake serves about four people. If you want to use a larger tin or create more portions, you can simply double or triple the quantities. To flatten out the base as evenly as possible, use the bottom of a small glass and firmly compress the crumbs. You can of course just use your fingers, but this method is a bit tidier and guarantees a more even surface. Set this aside while you work on the filling. To make the filling, you'll need soft tofu, corn flour, maple syrup, and vanilla extract. Blend all these ingredients together until very smooth. Then pour the blended mixture on top of the biscuit base. Tap the tin against the counter and shake it gently to remove any large air bubbles. Bake in a preheated oven at 100 degrees Celsius for 30 to 35 minutes. The edge should be pretty firm to the touch and it's okay if the center still looks a little jiggly. It will continue to firm up as it cools. Once cool, take it out of the tin, gently remove and discard the baking paper. Make a simple fruit topping by combining frozen fruits of your choice with maple syrup and heating either on the stovetop or in the microwave for a minute or two until the fruit juices are released. Top the cheesecake with the fruit sauce and it's done. Serve it warm at room temperature or chilled. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and that you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I post a new video every week and I will catch you next time. Bye.